Hello, this is Par64 Guy. Uh, I have an assistant with me today who is going to help me with a teardown. So what we have here are two clock radios. One of them is just a standard clock radio. And this is an iHome dock. So this was designed for the older style Apple iPhones and iPods. This one actually suffered a failure in the wintertime due to static shock. So the user went to go dock her phone and the little zap went right to the dock and it uh, ruined the electronics. The buttons wouldn't respond anymore. It was an accident. It happens in the winter. This was probably not designed well with the sufficient protection against static shocks that can happen like that. And as a result, this is now the subject of our teardown. To start our teardown, we're going to first look at the clock to see where the fasteners are that hold it together. So let's take it and flip it upside down. Where are our fasteners? All right, so it looks like we've got on this one, fasteners in the corners. And those are, looks like a Phillips head screw. Looks like we have one more right over here. And one way you can tell that there's fasteners that hold the cases together is usually you'll see an indicator arrow next to the fasteners. You can see one here. So that should be the end of that. So let's try pulling it apart. So let's take a look and see what we have inside. So here's our speaker. We have the power transformer here. So the power cord comes in, goes into the transformer. This is going to take our voltage, and bring it down from the line voltage down to uh, a small, a lower voltage that the electronics can use. And then from there, It comes in into the board where it's going through some filtering and other things to allow the rest of the clock to work. This is the antenna for the AM radio. This is the tuner for the radio. Uh, looks like we've got a buzzer right here. This is our, that's most likely our uh, alarm sounder. That's the way it gives you the annoying beep to wake you up. And then if we look at the other side, we have, these are our buttons right here. So just little push buttons. And then this is the slide switch for, what was that? Ah, that was the wake one, wake two slide. And then we also have, looks like, push buttons here. sleep and uh, sleep. Oh, and sleep and nap. Probably over here. Uh, yep, right here. You got them. So these two switches right here. So when you push this, it looks like there's a lever action here, which this isn't working, which is why this is part of the teardown. Yep. These are supposed to be up like this. And then when you push it, it pivots. And that's what pushes the button. Oh, and that's what pushes. Yep. Oh, and it labels it. That's nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Yep. So they actually did a decent job designing the board with all the labels, which is nice. These are more slide switches here. So if we take that oh. off so you can see there's a switch under here. Oh, this one didn't have a switch. It? Yeah, it's right there. Oh. So there's a switch right there. Mm -hmm. Just pull straight up. Oh. <laughs> and then here, this is the tuning right here. So this actually is just a knob with a gear on it. So it looks like we've got some gears under here, so we'll, we should hopefully be able to expose those. Let's see how to take this board out. We'll see. Um, there's multiple boards here. Let's see this board here. 
there's another board here and it looks like it's connected with some wires that are soldered. And there's another board over here that has these switches on it. So now that we have this apart, let's take it a step further. We have some screws here that are holding in the transformer and the power cord. So let's take those out. those other two screws out and just leave it <laughs> somebody's excited about doing a teardown it's like rusty that's actually um it's well brand name is loctite it's a uh, what they call a, a thread locker or it's a, a you know it's a adhesive that Holds the screws in place so they don't unscrew themselves, usually for you know, vibration during shipping, or it's commonly used in applications where the equipment may be subject to a lot of vibration. Uh, I think they just do it in these little small appliances so you don't have the screws back out by accident. Okay. That's okay. So that's just a little retainer clip. Let's not worry about that there. So now we should be able to take this out. There we go. Here's the transformer. And you can see here that's the power cord coming through. Oh, yes. Oh, and look at that. We missed that. The screw that holds that in place. This one doesn't have any of that stuff on it. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, this, this is dope. All right. So these here, I don't think we're going to worry about trying to carefully remove them. So go ahead and cut them. Wind up on the cutter part of the blade. And then cut. You made it look so easy. I had a few more years of experience. <laughs> okay, so this is out of the way now. Yep, there's a speaker. So now let's see what we can do to get the circuit board out of here. Don't see any fasteners. Just wire stuff. Oh, here's the cord. What's that? This is the cord. Yes, it is. That's the power cord. We also see here this wire wrapped around is most likely the FM antenna. This doesn't have one of those big steel metal extending oh. uh, antennas that you see on some other radios. So I'm going to guess that this coil of wire is the FM antenna. So let's see if this whole thing will come out. One thing I'll also notice is right here, this row is a cable that's wrapping down and around. That's for the display. So let's try get a screwdriver in here. Let's go up gently. Let's see. Let's try it over here. It looks like it's held in place. That's okay. All right, good. It's up. Let's see. Hold on. So let's see now. Pop that up. Oh, look at that. Whoa. <laughs> so here's our tuning knob. Remember I said there was a gear? Yeah. And that's what the gear turns. The gear turns this guy. Now this, on the other side, is this right here, which is a variable capacitor. And what that does, that serves as part of the tuning circuit for the radio. So that's, this is what lets you change the channels. Now this is an old analog tuner. 
newer radios, it's all done with chips. So this is this is old fashioned, and this is an older radio. And then if we look and see what else we have here, we have our display. This is the back of our display. So you want to try to pull, pry that out? This. So yeah, just nice and gentle. Let's see if we can a little bit on the corners. Let's see if you can get that. Or actually, you know what? Hold on. My apologies. That doesn't want to come out? No. So let's study it. We're not sure what's going on. Let's figure out how it's held in there. And it looks like... Wow. It looks like it's... This is called heat staking. So this was a piece of plastic standing up. And then what they do is they put this it? in. Yep, and they melt it until it flattens out. And that also holds it in place. So that there, you can just probably break that off. Go ahead and... There you go. The other side. Right, out. <laughs> so now let, let's take a closer look at this before we pop it up. Oh, that's good. This is attached. This is attaching the display to the circuit board. Now, look at the plastic. Tell me if you think you can see how this might be held in place. I'll give you a hint, look in the corners. More stuff? These tabs. This. Like so, this. these here, if you pry these out, it should allow it to lift up. There we go. Lift that up on that side. Let's lift this up on this side. There we go. And that should. There you go. And there's our display. Oh. And you can see all the different characters they use. So this is your digits. There's a music uh, option. And this is your uh, megahertz, which would be your FM. And kilohertz radio. would be your AM. Yep. This will also display your radio frequency. Uh, you know what? Probably not, because this is not a digital radio. Is that uh, nope, that's just a solder, it's just a solder connection. Can I pry that off or no? No, it's, uh, it's for this Metal? shield. It's for this shield here. My guess is this is probably there as a shield to help protect this from causing interference. Uh, what can happen in some of these products is you have, um, computer circuits here that have high frequencies, and if they broadcast out at too strong a, a, a frequency, or if the frequency they broadcast out is too strong, it causes interference to other devices. And the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission, they don't like that. They have rules set in place that you should not interfere with other devices. And that is probably in there so that this will satisfy those limits. Can I get that off? Nope, it's soldered in place. Oh, if you want to try to pull that off, you might be able to. Oh, it bends very easily. Let's see. That looks like we can probably... Ow. Yep, yeah, don't cut yourself. Whoa. Yeah, it's a very thin foil. It's an adhesive back. And it's just a very thin foil. A couple more things to identify on here is we have our red LED here, which is our FM stereo indicator. We have our earphone jack, so if you want to do some private listening. And then we also have this, which is a, I'm guessing, a cadmium sulfide cell, which is a light sensor. And as you can see, this here says sensor on it. Most likely what that is for, if I remember correctly, is when you are in a brighter lit room, the display will be a higher intensity. When you turn off the lights, this can actually automatically sense that the lights are off and the display will dim, so that way it's not bright in your face keeping you awake at night. So we have one more screw here. Well, let me take that out. I'll hold the uh, gear so it doesn't turn. That, you want to go righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. Am I tightening it? Lost it. Go ahead 
move that gear off. And there we go. So you can see there's a, a shape on there. This is a, a has flats in it, and those made up with the flats here, so it will make sure to turn this that. Spins? That no. will spin. Well, it'll spin. No, yeah, it'll spin, spin with this. <laughs> it's a little hard to spin, but once you have a large gear on there, it'll it'll spin. So that's it. That's it for this uh, teardown of this uh, clock radio. So let's take a look at the next one.